Hi guys, my name is Matt with Great Health by Nature. We are going to put an awesome smoothie together today. Uh, right in front of me, right here, I've actually got all the herbs from the Beginners uh, Multivita Superfood Herb Pack that uh, it's, it's for the people that are just really, you know, getting into herbalism, getting into superfoods, and everything to make themselves a healthier individual and have that quality of life. This is the beginning, guys. These are all gentle herbs that have powerful effects that can rejuvenate your body. And you only have to use a little bit at a time, which is really, really great, because I actually like to use this for the kids, because I've got six kids. It was a little bit difficult at first, because I'm used to all of these really powerful, potent herbs and extracts and stuff like that, which kids can't always get. This is a very gentle setup right here. Um, where you can uh, sneak it into their food, sneak it into their smoothies, sneak it into different things, drinks or whatever, um, for kids and yourself to rejuvenate, remineralize, and get some things moving and working in your body for your immune system, your digestive tract, all of these things that really truly matter in your body. Get that homeostasis back in order in the body. So today we're gonna make a real quick smoothie. Um, it takes like five minutes to make a smoothie, guys. It's super, super awesome, super, super easy to do it. I make one for, for breakfast. It's super easy to make one for breakfast. I make one for dinner. I don't always make one for dinner, but you know, when I do, I mean, I, it takes five minutes. I make a smoothie for dinner, and then I make the kids a large smoothie, and I split it up between them with different vitamins, different uh, superfoods, and all these different things that you know they they can use and that will help and benefit them so today we're going to do a, a raspberry strawberry smoothie something real simple that you guys can see that will help and benefit you uh, tremendously so here we go I'm not doing any measurements guys but I will tell you the measurements that I normally use um, I'm gonna throw in some raspberries right here it's about half a cup of raspberries and then I'm going to throw in some strawberries, probably about the same, half a cup of strawberries. Just like that. Just put them right in my smoothie there. I'm going to take some organic almond milk. Love almond milk. Any of the lactose-free alternatives, guys. Almond milk, hemp milk, all of that stuff is awesome. So normally I fill it up to just over the fruit. I don't want it to be liquid, I want it to be good. I've got some other things that are going to thicken it up. So that was probably about two and a half, three cups of this organic almond milk. So now I'm gonna throw in, so right now, when you start off with your smoothie, let's go to smoothie basics real quick. You wanna throw the frozen fruit in first, or your base, and then you put the liquid in. And the reason I do that is because when you try to throw ice or frozen foods or any fruit or anything like that into it after you put the liquid in it splashes everywhere so it's a mess so put the frozen stuff in first then the liquid then your other superfoods and then the herbs last you want the herbs to sit on top so that they don't stick all to the sides and get crazy so uh hemp seeds i'm gonna do about Two tablespoons of hemp seeds. Hemp seeds are awesome. I mean, omega 3s, 6, 9s, uh, awesome fats, awesome minerals, awesome protein content. I mean, hemp seeds are all around. I'm going to do some chia seeds. It's going to thicken it up, give some awesome digestive tract system stuff going on, uh, help with hydration and everything else. So, also got all the different fatty acids and proteins and amino acids, everything else, so, and it's super awesome for inflammation because of those fatty acids, so I'm going to put about a teaspoon because chia seeds really thicken up the drink a lot, you don't have to use a lot. Alright guys, so sweetener, agave nectar, agave nectar is awesome alternative to sweetener guys, use it with everything, and put about two teaspoons two tablespoons ish in there um, and today I'm gonna use Great Health by Nature's 
uh, beginner pack. I'm not going to put everything in there, but I'm going to go through and show you exactly what I'm putting in here. Um, today I'm going to do something with lots of greens because it's it's getting dark, it's getting nighttime, and uh, this is my dinner smoothie right here. I want it to fill me up, but I want it to be something that will help me go to sleep, ground me, and it's going to, you know, uh, just help basically calm me for a better night's sleep. Um, so I can wake up and feel refreshed and, and do all that rebuilding throughout the night. So I'm going to get all the greens that I can. So I'm going to use the cracked wall uh, spirulina here. 60 grams cracked wall spirulina. You don't have to have a lot of this stuff, guys. Um, cracked wall spirulina, you know, I like to use a little bit more, but I'm going to use about half a teaspoon here. And there we go. So about half a teaspoon, this is really going to color your drink because of all that chlorophyll in there. I mean, look at this, it's just super, super potent, super green, blue, green, algae, it's awesome. Um, spirulina is good for uh, a number of different things, but the main one that I want to focus on today is actually the cinnamon ceylon. So the cinnamon ceylon is super awesome guys. Um, it is incredible for balancing blood sugar which helps tremendously with weight loss and gain. Um, when you balance that blood sugar out, it balances the way that your fat is stored and how quickly fat is, con or how quickly glucose is converted into fat. So when you're able to, to balance that blood sugar and balance that insulin and everything else, it, it helps tremendously for diabetics. Awesome. This is the Ceylon cinnamon 10 to 1 extract. So for you to understand what that means for these, these extracts, these are extremely powerful extracts. They're not just powders or, or regular ground up herbs or anything like that. They're extracts. So this 10 to 1, if you get a gram of this powder extract right here, it's like having 10 grams of just the regular stuff powder. So, and you basically times it by 10, and that's what you're actually getting. That's why I recommend, you know, 500 milligrams, um, or like a fourth, or a, an eighth teaspoon, sometimes a sixteenth teaspoon, or even a thirty-second teaspoon. Tiny amounts, guys, tiny amounts for some of these extracts here. Um, for these, you can take more of, and it won't really hurt you. That's why this is the beginner's pack right here. For some of the other ex extracts on the website, you have to be more careful with, and then we'll get into a more advanced uh, procedures with those. But this one is amazing for that balancing of blood sugar, awesome for the immune system, awesome for that digestive tract. I'm gonna sprinkle some of this in here, and it's gonna you know enhance the flavor of strawberry. I don't know if you guys have ever had like strawberry cinnamon type deals like. Uh, maybe you've been to Starbucks or something like that, or maybe you've gotten a, a strawberry, you know, strawberry jelly-filled uh, cinnamon bun or something. I don't know, uh, but it's it's pretty fantastic when you mix fruit with cinnamon. Just end of story. Um, here we have milk thistle, just a tiny bit of silymarin milk thistle. Um, this is one that you would use like you know a sixteenth or an eighth of a teaspoon of. This is extremely important for liver cleansing and liver protectant. This is going to protect your liver. It's going to protect your body from toxic elements from the environment. Super critical in our, in our, in our day and age. Um, let's see, we got ginger, 5% gingerol. That's a pretty potent extract, guys. We only need a little bit. 5% gingerol is the, the uh, active compound in ginger that's really got the spice to it. So just a little bit, and it'll add this awesome spice. Um, that was probably about a sixteenth of a, a teaspoon, maybe a, an eighth of a teaspoon. Um, but super critical for digestion. It's going to help this entire thing digest better, and it's going to be awesome. And now we've got moringa, twenty to one extract. So one gram of moringa. 20 to 1 extract is like taking 20 grams of the actual powder, which is like a lot of powder. So this extract, you only have to use 500 milligrams or about an eighth of a teaspoon. Super, super potent, super awesome. Moringa is so powerful for purifying the blood, 
Uh, they actually use it for malnutrition. Pregnant women use it uh, if they feel like they're not getting everything they need to provide for the baby. Tons packed full of minerals, vitamins, everything that you need in Moringa. And it's an awesome green. Which is why I'm going to stick it in here for tonight when I'm in bed and sleeping so that I can heal wonderfully. I'm going to throw about a, a, an eighth to a fourth teaspoon in there. Alright guys, so that's that's the what I'm going to mix up right now. I'm going to blend it up. We're going to try it and we're going to have fun. Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. Such complexity in the flavors, you know. It's not just like super sweet strawberry or you know, with that raspberry tang in it or anything. It's, you taste those and they're really good, but you have this little subtlety of the cinnamon, this little subtlety of the spice from the ginger. It's really, really awesome. Really great flavor here. This is gonna fill me up for the night. I won't need anything else. It's gonna give me everything I need uh, to rebuild, rejuvenate, regenerate, do all those things that you do when you're sleeping. That's when you heal, that's when you recuperate from, you know, all throughout the day, what you've been doing. That is the real time that the body is healing. So you want to provide it the nutrients and the things that it needs in a super assimilable format and a super potent format. So this is what we do uh, for nighttime. You can see that it's darker. It's almost like it's been, you know, with blueberries in it, but that's because of that spirulina, that blue-green algae. Um, that's giving it that chlorophyll and those, those antioxidants from the chlorophyll. Super, super awesome, guys. Um, I'm going to drink this and enjoy it, and I hope that you make one just like this and enjoy it as well. Have a fantastic night.